Hey everyone, thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're gonna to talk about Bitcoin and we're gonna be discussing the US dollar currency index or DXY and how the markets are currently behaving. If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up and also check out the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below. Let's go ahead and jump in. So, you know, Bitcoin recently has been in a downtrend, right? I mean, it's just, it's in a downtrend. I, I know it's easy to, to try to justify that it's not in a downtrend, but if you look at it on the weekly time frame, you look at it on the daily time frame. In the short term, Bitcoin is in fact in a downtrend. Now, of course, there are claims that this is starting to bottom, and it could be, right? It, it could be, but let's just wait for the downtrend to end. I mean, it, it, the, the short term predictions are. They're, they're somewhat useless, okay? I mean, at the end of the day, I don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow. You don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow. Let's just look at the overall structure of the market. Right now, Bitcoin is in fact in a downtrend and it has a lot of people wondering why. Like, why is it, sh why is it so weak right now? And with, with institutions, you know, this is the cycle of institutions, of course, on-chain metrics look reasonable. The question is, why does it look so weak? Well, one of the reasons, and we've discussed this before, is look at the, the US dollar, okay, DXY. Historically, when the dollar is rallying, it does sort of put Bitcoin on the back burner. It's a nice way of saying it, right? So we've talked about this all year. And in fact, if you remember, when we entered into 2021, back over here, what did we say? We said, all right, guys, everyone's expecting Bitcoin to go to 300K. I know a lot of these people have, have sort of toned down their predictions since then, especially since it's the end of 2021, and we didn't even make it to their 100K predictions that we should have, been, should have been out a long time ago. But what we said back then is, what if 2021 is just a sideways year? Why? Because the dollar could actually find a local bottom down here. I mean, this is where it had a local bottom a few years ago. So it certainly seems reasonable that 2021 could in fact be a sideways year. Of course, there's all sorts of great narratives for Bitcoin this market cycle. Not only do you have institutions buying, uh, but you also have more utility in this space in the forms of decentralized finance, NFTs. Well, obviously, we can discuss the actual utility of those, but they, they do have some utility. And um, and even the, you know, the up and coming or currently existing metaverse. So there's all sorts of speculative plays, whether it's crypto gaming, whether you want to focus on layer ones, whether you're looking at layer twos, D D DeFi, et cetera. Okay, so there's a lot to talk about in crypto, a lot to speculate on, but there's also, there's also times when the market, when market participants like to de-risk a little bit. And market participants, whether you like it or not, are currently de-risking some, okay? And, and I think this is best captured in the fact that the US dollar is continuing to climb. And normally when, this, when, the, when DXY is climbing, you'll often see, Bitcoin not doing so well. And, and you can see that Bitcoin has now been in a downtrend, a multi-week downtrend. In addition to that, the S&P is down. I mean, it's down a, per, a percent today, in fact. Now, the S&P still looks relatively decent. I mean, it's not like it's, it's, it's doing that bad. If, you, if we just go quickly look at it, it still is in a, a very macro uptrend. And if you throw on that bull market support band on the, on the S&P, it still is, is above that. So, S&P still overall is looking uh, pretty good. Now, the dollar is, is this interesting beast, to say the least. And it, it is hard to predict. But remember, a lot of people were calling for the dollar to collapse a year ago. And in fact, it found a double bottom and started moving back up. And I would say that it's, it's a, I'm not saying this is causing Bitcoin to go down, but it's more just like an, an artifact of people seeking the relative safety in the US dollar. And you might laugh at the idea that the dollar provides relative safety, especially when you're talking about inflation, but there's all sorts of reasons people could be doing it, whether it to be pay taxes, whether they just wanna lock in some gains from the prior year, whatever it is, right? They don't need a reason. They can just do whatever they want. There are market participants that are de-risking. And until, until these market participants get a little bit more risk on, I, you know, mentality, or once these short-term holders completely capitulate, then we, we recognize that the downtrend for Bitcoin is still intact. And so what we're looking for is we're looking for the downtrend to break. Now, listen, 
Short-term price predictions in crypto are completely worthless, okay? So everyone always wants to know, what do you think is going to happen? What's going to happen? Tomorrow? Look, no one knows. I'm not going to, I'm not here to blow smoke and, and pretend like I do. But one of the things I, I would say is half of crypto is just having the right mentality about it, okay? And not setting yourself up for unrealistic expectations. And so I, I think if you're more conservative, it tends to work out a lot better because then you always keep your expectations in check and then you're pleasantly surprised whenever it overperforms. It kind of reminds me of, of the end of 2020. I was very conservative and, and you know I didn't foresee Bitcoin at that time blasting off to 64K, but it did, right? And, and I that, that's like the best scenario to be in where it's outperforming your expectations. But if you went into the middle of 2021, believing that the 300K predictions by the end of the year were, were accurate and that were going to play out because some, someone just happened to say it, that's what that's what really hurts people, especially if, if they don't if they don't know what they're doing in the markets and they're getting too exposed to the asset class because they think that it has to follow some specific price path. I will assure you that the Bitcoin does not have to go in the direction that anyone thinks it wants to go or thinks it will go. It will do whatever the hell it wants to. And that's what it's been doing for the last 11 years. And you should note that more or less what it wants to do is go up albeit there are periodic downtrends. Now, if you look at this current cycle, there have been, you could argue, four separate downtrends that were somewhat difficult for market participants to handle. I don't really consider these over here to be that difficult. I mean, it was alt season, okay? Bitcoin was going sideways above the 20-week moving average. Yes, Bitcoin was struggling, but it was alt season. I mean, everything was just going up. So I don't, I don't look at this phase up here as a phase where market participants were really um, you know, getting that hurt. But there were a few phases. I think this was one where I think a lot of people thought that it was just, we were just going to crash back down. And we dropped approximately 31% over 20 days. And then we had this one here where we ended up dropping around 50% over 72 days. Uh, we had this one in September. That was brutal for a lot of people. I mean, we went down to 25%, but by the end of the correction, we were down 23% over approximately 25 days. And then so far, this one has been down about 32% over approximately 37 days. So this one over here, we had 31% drop, okay? The second one here, we had about a 51% drop. And I know we did slightly go below it if you if you take some of the wicks, but we're just rounding here and no one really cares about the wicks. This one was a 23% drop. And then currently we're looking at approximately a 32% drop, okay? And then also note, this one occurred over 20 days. This one occurred over 72 days. This one here occurred over 25 days. And then so far, this one has taken place over approximately 37 days. So you can see that we're more or less kind of like in the middle of, of what we saw happen over here if you were to take some type of average or something. Um, for instance, if we just do some back of the envelope math, uh, this will be 97, 107, 117. So more or less just say 120 divided by three would be 40. Um, so slightly less since it was 117. So we're, we're more or less at the average uh, for the last three corrections that were somewhat brutal for market participants to handle, okay? So the thing is, is, is right now we're looking at a dollar that's on a moon mission, if you wanna call it that, okay? Relative, relatively for the dollar, the dollar is going up quite a lot. And, and as you can see over the last several months, namely since May, the dollar is up approximately seven or eight percent over over the last 203 days. Now that might not sound like a lot, but for the dollar, that is a lot, right? That is a pretty substantial move for the dollar to make an eight percent move over the last 203 days. So what is the right mentality to have for Bitcoin right now? Well, I would say to be completely okay if the price continues to be in a downtrend. And if you can't handle that, then maybe this isn't the market that you want to be in, okay? I'm not saying it has to go down. I don't, I don't have any reason that I, I want it to go down. But if you don't, if you're not okay with it, that's a problem, all right? Additionally, I, I see calls for, for new all-time highs uh, some people are, are, are ex definitely a lot more optimistic than I am. I, keep, I see people saying that we're going to rally to new all-time highs by the end of the month. Highly doubt that's going to happen. We see parabolic rally calls for, for Q1 of 2022. I also have a hard time seeing that as well. You know, Q2 of 2022 seems like, I mean, we, we need time to, to really put in a bottom to the downtrend, to, to go sideways for a bit. 
and then to and then to, to ultimately go higher. And I don't think we can do that in, in just two or three weeks. So have the right mentality and thinking, okay, well, at some point we need to bottom. And then at some point we need to go sideways and then go up. Now it's certainly possible we could just go up like this. I mean, we saw we saw prior moves that just sort of had like a, a knee jerk reaction back up to the upside. Um, but even in that, even in those instances, you 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 do sometimes expect some sideways periods. Um, not it's not just going to be straight up. Okay, so at the very least, we need to put in a a higher high on these shorter term time frames because if you zoom in here. And let's just switch this over to four hour candles so we can see kind of like what's going on. All we're looking at so far, guys, is just lower highs. Okay, and, and every single pump we get, it's easy to get excited about, but the truth of the matter is, is it's just been lower high after lower high after lower high. And so what we want to do is we just want to be patient and wait. I mean, at some point, I imagine we will we should be able to put in uh, something that's not just another lower high, but for now it is it is simply a waiting game. Right? We are simply in a waiting game right now, and and we'll have to see. You know, we'll have to see. And and what I would say is, if you don't follow D, D, if you don't follow DXY, add it to your list to follow because as long as you see the dollar continuing to skyrocket like this, it's probably going to make Bitcoin and the stock market a little bit a little bit weaker than. Than you might otherwise want them to be. Now, what's interesting is while in the short term the dollar is in an uptrend, you can see that since Bitcoin, since since the inception of Bitcoin, the dollar has actually mostly been in an uptrend. But the main parabolic rallies for Bitcoin, we know we had one recently in 2020 and going into early 2021, occurred when the dollar was going down. And in 2017, the parabolic rally by Bitcoin occurred when the dollar was going down. So if you're waiting for that parabolic rally for Bitcoin to occur again, arguably what you would like to see is people going back to risk on mentality and and then maybe fleeing away from from the dollar and then watching the dollar go down. Now since since inception we know that that Bitcoin tends to go up if the, when the dollar is going down, but we also know that since inception of Bitcoin the dollar has actually been in a in a macro uptrend. What happens when the dollar has a macro downtrend, which is actually what we've seen over the last several decades. So locally since Bitcoin has been around, the dollar has been in an uptrend more or less, okay? Um, but we also know that Bitcoin does better when the dollar goes down. So what happens if the dollar comes back down this way eventually? That would be an interesting thing to follow, okay? Because we don't know. If, what we do know is that when the dollar's not doing well, Bitcoin does. When the dollar does well, Bitcoin does not do well, historically speaking, okay? Um, at least uh, it's not to say that Bitcoin can't, you know, have some occasional good days or good weeks, but you're just not going to see. You're, you're likely not going to see a parabolic rally by Bitcoin if the dollar is just on a, on a bull run. Okay, so we look at this chart, and and we say, well, I mean, you know, what happens? What happens if the dollar hits some macro resistance up here and ends up getting getting knocked back to the downside? And and you can adjust these lines all you want. I mean, if you want to be more, uh, if you can draw it to that peak over there as well and, and maybe change it to like that and, and say, all right, well, let's see when the dollar hits this upper line. Will it come into some resistance? If it does and starts heading down, that's probably a good thing for Bitcoin. OK, because so far when we look at this longer term trend lines, we can see, you know, it came up here and then it came all the way down in 2018 and then back up in 2020 and then back down early in 2021. And now it's it's the end of 2021 and we're already at the levels that the dollar was at you know, basically by the end of 2018, beginning of 2019. So, you know, relatively speaking, considering how strong the dollar has been over the last several months, the fact that Bitcoin is still trading at 46K is actually somewhat impressive, okay? Because uh, you guys know what happened in 2018 when the dollar saw this, 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 this type of a move. I mean, let's just, let's just overlay it, right? If you overlay this move here to, to what the dollar is, is currently doing, by this same point, um, you know, Bitcoin had 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 actually gone down a lot more. So clearly, there are more. I would say there's a lot more interest today than there was back in, back then, considering how strong the dollar is. Bitcoin's holding up relatively well. Ethereum's holding up even better. Um, so let's just take it one day at a time. All right, let's see what the dollar does. When it when is it going to find some macro resistance? And then also, when will the downtrend for Bitcoin end? If we do, if we do end up closing somewhere down here, then I mean, again, I'm not, I'm not, I'm no short-term TA guru. I can assure you of that. Not that anyone is really, um, but 
you have to imagine if we start putting in closes down here, then we are experiencing we are experiencing some type of a breakdown from this area, and that we could in, in fact end up sweeping the lows down here, um, and then hopefully from there we bounce if we if we end up going that low. But anyways, for now Bitcoin remains in a downtrend. Call it what it is, right? We are in a downtrend. Uh, let's see if we can break it. If you want to have the right expectations, I would not assume that Bitcoin's about to experience a parabolic rally or anything. Uh, in fact, I, I think what's more important is we need to break the downtrend and then and then show that the Bitcoin still has the strength as we as we head out into 2022. If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, check out the premium list at intothecryptoverse.com. You'll get access to weekly reports and videos, the Telegram alerts channel, and more. Thank you for tuning in. Subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye.